Danish craft and design is traditionally known for a uh, very high quality and, uh, and a very aesthetic approach. Um, Danish craft and design has been very influenced by modernism and by the simplicity of modernism. So you could say that, that it has been known for a quality in materials which is an aesthetic quality. Um, and a very high knowledge about materials and how they, they, how materials function. Danish design and craft has been known for a, um, a high degree of uh, or high attention to to the user. So the user has always been historically been a part of uh, of 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 the way people have worked, of the products they have made. They have been oriented towards the user, which means that quality has been important because uh, we didn't talk about sustainability a couple of years ago, but sustainability has in a way al always been a part of the way designers uh, have thought um, because they wanted to make products that uh, could last the whole life for people. The unique qualities of Danish craft and design has been that uh, there has always been an attention towards the user, which means that quality has not been compromised. Quality has been very, very important. Um, both the aesthetic quality um, and the quality in materials, how things have been made. But I would say that if we are to talk about what really uh, um, characterizes Danish craft and design. I would say simplicity and and a clear, a clear language, a clear form, um, a clear way to communicate. This has been traditionally the strength of Danish craft and design. We don't have uh, a long tradition for for telling stories or for um, for breaking rules. I would say that, that uh, tradition has, has been very much oriented towards the modernistic uh, approach, which means a universal, um, a universal approach to, um, to making objects and to making things that we use in our everyday. Another quality you could say that Danish craft and design has is that it has always been oriented towards the everyday. Designers have a social ag agenda, you could say, and this is, we can see that now, and we can see that historically also. So usability and, uh, and functional things has, uh, plays an important role in the Danish tradition. The development over the past 10 years in Danish craft and design, I would say it has been very exciting because it has taken the most interesting of tradition or the most essential, the most important of tradition, which, which is the, 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 um, the awareness of the user and the awareness, awareness of quality. But it has been taken directly into a new way of thinking, into a new paradigm, a new approach to which kind of things that we want to surround ourselves with in the everyday. And this new approach has been much more directed at, at um, having fun, telling stories, asking critical questions, making people reflect. And I would say that the reflective layer of things is a new, a new development in Danish craft and design, which is very interesting because exactly we can see both just having fun, just telling funny stories that entertain people, as well as we can see, uh, we can see stories that ask qu critical questions, make us stop, make us wonder, give us new sensations. And uh, you could call it a paradigm of being surprised. Uh, the, 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 the surprise is a very important thing in, in in the new, uh, the new forms and what represents Danish craft and design. The way Danish craft and design has been perceived is of course difficult for me to, to, uh, to say because I'm a Dane. 
But what I sense from my colleagues and, and what I read in, in international magazines would be that there has been a, a surprise actually about the expectation was this uncompromisable quality. But reality was that the products and, and the works were very different from what was expected. Because there was this development during the last years. So I would say people have been expressing a surprise. One of the important features of Danish craft and design would be that even though we see a wave of or a new approach to, to design, which is to tell stories and to entertain and to ask questions, still the tradition remains in, in quality and in the approach that we don't just want to make snap entertainment. Actually, we want to make things that people still want to keep in their lives. We have, still have this thinking about uh, things as, as things people want to love and want to have and not just throw away when they have had fun. Um, and I think that differs, uh, that, that is, is special about, uh, about the Danish approach.